hi and welcome back to Doggone RVing. You know, sometimes it's just really hard to get enthusiastic, especially when you feel like you're stuck in the worst cycle as far as weather goes. Well, yesterday we had the wettest day on record for any June day, over an inch and a half of rain. And it's still raining. So, June's always been a wet month. We might have a peak of summer in May, but we pay for it all June. So, I'm out here checking out my RV, uh, getting excited, because we're going on our first trip here uh, sometime in July. Cross your fingers. And uh, I'd hoped to have all my final upgrades and improvements done with this last phase seven. But the way things are today in the world, they can't find enough people that want to work. They can't find enough people that are willing to work. And uh, my big last project, phase seven, had to be cut into two projects. So this last project, we got an air compressor uh, put under the hood and hookups front and rear. And I got a soft start for the AC put in. And, um, oh gosh, I, I have so many things done that I'd have to look at my list. But anyway, uh, I take it in one last time after we come back from our trip sometime in July and have phase 7.2 put in. And that will be a a new floor because this thing's got the old 2007 bumpy carpet and and crappy floor that looks like wallpaper well it came off like wallpaper but that'll be it I do have one appointment at an upholstery shop to see if I can get this seat cover here turned into a two-piece fitted seat cover and that'll solve that problem. And uh, other than that, I do believe once those two last items are done, I am finished with everything I could have possibly thought of or had on my master plan four years ago to improve this rig for my style of RV life. So anyway, this is looking really good in here. I haven't been out in this rig in so long because of all the disasters that have befallen us. The dogs, the tree falling on my kennel in the back. And uh, I hope to escape this <laughs> all next year. And uh, we'll just wait and see the way things are going. You can only hope for the best. So, um, like I said earlier, to fill the gap between when I start making brand new videos with my brand new format and introduction here in the late July. Um, I've got some old, what I consider good videos of my travels uh, coming out once a week. And hopefully you guys will check them out, see where we've been, see what we do get maybe a feel of uh, what this channel does and where we like to go and explore. We've got a lot of new places in mind that we want to explore. Some old places because the way things change nowadays, it could be there one month and be gone the next. So anyway, um, I'm trying to get enthusiastic about this, <laughs> but I tell you, it's like, uh, um, this is why we have rainforests in Washington state is because it rains and it doesn't come all at once. It comes steadily over months and sometimes all at once. We've gotten, uh, I'd probably getting close to 10 atmospheric rivers coming out of the South Pacific that just drowned us up here like rats. And uh, other countries are drying up, bone dry, and we're swimming in it, I tell you. 
I've thought about moving elsewhere to get out of the rain, but then the more research I do, the more I realize that those drought states are going to run out of water. Water's going to be as valuable as gold, and uh, it's going to be like some sci-fi movie. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to stay up here where we're swimming in it, and if I want to get out of, out of it, all I got to do is jump in this little RV and go to some place where the sun is for a while. So... Anyway, uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the plans I've made, uh, the places we plan on going, my new intro I'm working on, and my new uh, vibe for the channel. I've tried to learn as much as I can watching many other YouTube channels out there that I uh, think highly of as far as uh, content and uh, production and I'm trying to incorporate those in mine in the future here and uh, have my own twist on things for my own personality because I like a lot of what some of these others are doing that I think highly of and uh, I still want to not be a carbon copy I want to take what I've learned from them and put it into my own feel how I live, what my RV life with my two girls is all about, and how I view things out of my eyes. So, hopefully it'll be interesting and different enough that uh, you'll find it fascinating and worth watching all the way through. You never know uh, with this YouTube stuff, you know. But, uh, like I say, hope for the best. And uh, the only... Feedback I get is if anyone cares to take a few minutes of their life and type in a, a comment. Uh, it was great. We liked it. Uh, have you thought of doing this or going there? You know, feedback. I don't know. I, I Like I said, I was raised in a totally different time in this nation where people actually face-to-face -face communicated, uh, kids played outside, were active. Uh, it's like I grew up in a totally different nation, a totally different world. And uh, it, it's, it's been tough sometimes seeing where the world's gone since I've gotten older. But I promise I'm going to leave all that crap out of my videos to come it is what it is and it's gonna go where it's gonna go all each and one of us can do is try to make the best out of it for ourselves and uh, just stay safe and healthy so with that being said um, thanks to all of you that do watch my videos thanks to those that have subscribed uh, I appreciate your subscription but I would appreciate it even more if even if you didn't subscribe at least you would have watched my videos and at least I know somebody out there whether they subscribed or not are finding my videos interesting enough maybe even learning something from them to watch them and enjoy them because that's basically what I'm doing it's uh it's twofold I want to entertain you and educate you as far as what I know, uh, what I've seen, and the things that I think I can enlighten you about that might help you, whether you're a family, uh, a young couple, a single young person, old retiree, dogs, cats, mice, rats, whatever you travel with. It's not that tough. The only thing that makes it tough is you yourself. The limitations and stuff you put on yourself. We all wear our own chains that we've made. And we're the only ones that can break those chains we've put on ourselves. So, rather than blabber even more, um, I'll just say that I hope you guys will watch the videos I have coming up. Yeah, they're maybe a year old or so. 
But uh, I think if you haven't seen them, you'll like them. Might even get you interested in going to those places and checking them out. Because I like to go places where the crowds aren't. You know, I've done all that in the 60s, 70s, 80s. And uh, I've seen how they changed. Not always for the better. Mostly for the worst. And uh, I'm glad I saw them in their prime. So now I'm looking for places that all the crowds aren't going to. And like I said, like... Ants to a sugar cube? Well, I'm going to take the trail over here to the ketchup or something, you know? <laughs> so, hang in there, everyone. If you like my channel, please say so. Let me know. There's people out there that like what we've done so far and will hang in there with us to see us improve even more. And, uh, I can only tell you that I'm going to do my best to entertain you, enlighten you, maybe inform you, and show you that RV living, whether you have a little bitty compact 19-foot ready-made RV, or you have one of them huge built-out camper van palaces, uh, you don't need much to be happy. We never have needed a lot to be happy. Happiness is all in ourselves. And if more of us could learn that, well, believe me, everything would be a whole lot better. So for the girls and I, I wish you all happy trails, pleasant journeys, and woof woof. Take care.